Hello everyone and welcome to TNFC, I'm Adam. Today, I'm gonna be telling you how you could possibly get the iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus for free. And actually, you may even make some money. Now yesterday, Tim Cook announced the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Now I have it right here behind me on my iMac and everyone's excited for it. And I bet you want to get it, but you may not know how to get it. Or I should say, how to afford it. There is actually an easy solution of how to get this iPhone for free. Now you do need to have a iPhone 5S though. That is the only thing with this. So with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, the prices were announced yesterday. Now the iPhone 6 starts at $199 and then goes up to $299 and $399. Now the catch this year though is the $199 is 16 gigs, but the $299 is 64 gigabytes, while the um, $399 is uh, 128 gigabytes. Now, last year with the iPhone 5S, we paid the exact same prices, but for 299 you got only a 32 gig, and for 399 you only got 64 gig. So now you're getting double the uh, storage on these devices for the same price that you paid last year. So now that we know the prices of the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, we can go about calculating this out of how you could get this phone for free. Now you have to have an iPhone 5S though to have this work properly, okay? It doesn't have to be brand new or anything, but it can be slightly used. I have a 32 gig iPhone 5S. Now I've done some research on eBay and I found that an iPhone 5S slightly used, uh, my 32 gig will go around 400 bucks. Now let's think of this. If I can sell my iPhone 5S for 400 bucks, the 32 gigabyte, and I can buy the 32 gigabyte iPhone 56 for 299, I'm making $100 there. But you gotta wait one second. At AT&T or any of these providers, they usually have you pay an activation fee. So you usually pay about a $40 activation fee when you go and have them activate your phone. You're not actually going and having them activate it, but they activate it for you and they charge you for that activation. So if we add up the price of the iPhone 6 plus that activation fee, that comes out to be about 339, okay? So that's around 340 bucks. Now, if we sold our iPhone 5S for that $400, we'd subtract the two and you make $61 for selling your 5S and getting the brand new iPhone 6. So basically, you're making money from getting the iPhone 6 if you have a 5S. Now many people would may not think of this and that's why I'm making this video. You can actually make money off of this. So I will be making possibly $61 from buying the iPhone 6. Now the same can work for the iPhone 6 Plus. I could get the 16 gig iPhone 6 Plus um, and still, you know, because it's $299 for the iPhone 6 Plus for the 16 gig and I could get that one and be making money off of getting that phone. I'll tell you a reason why you should sell your phone on eBay rather than a site like Gazelle or one of those iPhone trade-in sites. Those sites were, are gonna give you less money that you can actually get for your phone itself. A couple days ago, I priced my iPhone 5S, 32 gig, slightly used on Gazelle, and they were saying that I would get about 295 for that. Now, compare that to what I could get on eBay, 400 bucks, that's a big difference right there. Now, if you sold your phone on Gazelle, you're not gonna be able to get the iPhone 6. You're gonna have to end up spending money for it. This is why going with eBay is probably the best option. It's been the best option for me, and I've been doing this for a couple years now, and I decided to make this video because I kinda want more people to know about it, that you don't have to be buying this new iPhone. If you already have an iPhone, the previous version, you can be getting the new version every year. Now, you gotta remember one thing, though. All these prices that I'm saying the for the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus are with a two-year contract. Now, that is the problem with this, okay? If you're available uh, for an upgrade on your contract, then that's great. But if you're not, then this isn't really going to work for you. But you see what I have done is we have about four lines on our family, okay? So when I originally got the iPhone, whatever iPhone I got, I think I got the 4S was my first iPhone. When I originally got that, my uh, contract, my available upgrade, was not going to be available for two more years. So in two more years, 
I was gonna be able to do, do another upgrade. Now my mom though, she had an eligible, she had an available upgrade that she wasn't using. Now on AT&T, I don't know about other carriers, but on AT&T, you can use someone else in your family's um, upgrade for your phone. You can use their upgrade and get a new phone. So what I've done is since I did my phone and that was gonna be two more years till I could use another upgrade, the next year I used her phone upgrade because she wasn't ever getting an upgrade for her phones. So if you think about this, every year there's gonna be an available upgrade. So I got the 4S, then the 5, that was her upgrade, and then my my available upgrade was my upgrade was available again uh, for the 5S. Now hers is available for the 6. So I can get the 6 this year using her upgrade. It's a very efficient way and a lot of people don't know that you can use other people in your family's upgrades if they're not going to be using them, which for an older crowd, maybe your parents or something, they don't really use upgrades and they don't really care about having the greatest and newest hardware out there. Now this could also work for older versions of phones. I haven't really done much research on it, but I don't know how much a 5 or a 5C is going for. But if you go on eBay and do this, search up your phone and uh, look at sold listings and see how much they're going for. Because you could actually probably do the same thing. You might not be able to get the 32 gig or the um, 128 gig, but you may be able to get the 16 gig, which if you can get the iPhone 6 for free, why not do it? But that's about it guys. I'm going to leave a in the description below a link to a sheet that I, I wrote up about kind of going into greater detail about this and you can kind of look at it. I kind of wrote it out so if you didn't really understand this that will kind of help you. Okay so be sure to click on that. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions regarding this please comment below and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Also if you enjoyed this video and you thought it it was pretty helpful please give a like and uh let me know let me know in the comments too if you really enjoyed it and everything but uh i think that's it for today guys i want to thank you guys for watching and until next time i'm adam